I want to ask a question, and, and a view, well, based on what a viewer has said here. Now, this is from one of our members, Dexter, who says, bottle in the league, no two ways about it. Uh, none of the top four uh, was uh, making this aim nonsense. Congrats on maybe winning. Uh, you beat the Chelsea trophy, though. But on the first part from Dexter, have Arsenal bottled this league or are they still in a process and it should be looked at as a successful season? Because that narrative has now started this week. I'm even confused about what the word process means That's anymore. A, it's, a, it's a useless buzzword, man. <laughs> no, I agree. Okay, can, I just, can I just say this? Go on again. When we're, t- when we're saying, what are, you, what are people trying to call a failure? Because if you want to say single, single-handedly not achieving your goal at the end of the season and winning the league is a failure, in that sense, you can say, yes, we, we didn't achieve what we wanted to achieve based on winning the trophy. But if you want to say based on progression, you can you can say you still progressed without, with, uh, in the season. You can still say you've had a decent season based on your progression, based on where you were and where you finished. And this whole thing where everything's a failure if you don't win the league, then you're saying everybody in the league is failing. Let's be realistic. There's a lot of there's a lot of different bar- barometers on what you expect your se- you, how your season to go and where your team is. And the reality is, with this team, the the leaps and bounds we've come, I can still be like happy about the uh, the uh, wh- where we've come and how far we've come, and not say to myself, "Oh, this is a disgusting season, disgrace." The words that I'm seeing people describe the season, disgrace, disgusting. That you can call the performance a disgrace. You can call the performance disgusting but don't go and now say the whole season's been tarnished by the same uh, as that performance the reality is the season that we've we've been having this season has been a good season it's been a season where we where we've gone leaps and bounds where we want to be and we're taking steps towards where we want to be which is competing for the league winning the league potentially and pushing on and competing on all fronts and i see this team going only better next season Everyone else is going to try to get better, but the reality is, everyone else is going to strive to be where we are next season. They go in twenty thirteen. They're not. 14, they're going to strive yeah. to be where we are. Sorry. Yeah, quick one in twenty thirteen fourteen when actually. Liverpool when Liverpool didn't obviously win the league and Steven Gerrard slipped. What did you call that? Be honest. When Liverpool no, didn't win bo- the league, you bottled it, and yes, we bottled it. So you did bottle it then. You just I went around the whole the team. One second, I agree with the bottle statement because we bottled it versus West Ham. We bottled it versus Liverpool. You could say we even bottled it versus Southampton. You can call it, and that's where we lost the league. Losing to City is not the embarrassing part. The embarrassing part is dropping points that many times successively in a title race. You can call it a bottle bottle but at the same time, but at the same time, don't confuse bottling the league with having a poor season. That doesn't yeah, make I think, sense. I think they no, no, you haven't had a poor season, but that wasn't the question. It was about whether you... No, that's what league. people are trying to make it out to be. So, again, so again, yeah, can, I ask you a, can I ask you a question? And I, I agree with you, Miguel, 100%. But if Man United fail to make the top four, will you do a video on TikTok smiling and smirking and saying that we've failed and had a bad season? Or will you say, brilliant season overall, they did better than everybody expected, but they just bottled it in? Would you have the same energy for rivals or would you not? I, I honestly do. And maybe that's why some people don't like the reactionary TikToks that I make because I actually try to keep it balanced. I would say Man United... No, I even said I Man you, United no, no, would have had... Don't a, lie, man. I, one second. I, love you, a guy. I even my guy, said Man stop. United would have had a good season. Stop. And I even said Man United would have had a better season than us if you finished third and, and won a trophy because you're one league position below us and you won a trophy. So I'm, I'm keeping it consistent. The thing is, people are thinking I'm changing it every single time to suit Arsenal. I'm not. I'm trying to keep it consistent here. I said Arsenal winning a trophy back when we fit, when when we won the trophy a couple of years ago with the FA Cup was yeah. was a successful season even though we finished fifth because Mikel Arteta had no expectations going into that season when he became when he took over in mid season. So I'm not going to now I, I, change I, it. I, I get that. I saw some stuff today from Arsenal journalists. AFTV pushed it out. I made a video about it earlier. But we're now here. We haven't really heard this for many months about Arsenal. But now Arsenal are still in their process they're still in their process Nothing's wrong with that i'm not I saying disagree. Really. i disagree so you disagree with that colleen yeah. why do you disagree that Arsenal? I'm, I'm, in their process? i've never even liked the term i hate it i hate it's it such all a this. useless term every man. time we, I, I i hate it i'm not saying it's like just because you know your team can get better you're perpetually in a process you're accepting you're basically like. you're accepting failure that that's like, what i see, I, I see i'm not saying no, that's not that's not, that's not true Arsenal can still get better, but that doesn't mean what? they're still in the middle of a process. I don't. I think it's been what three years now. I think we can see the strategy that Arteta's coming with. We can. I think it's very clear his identity and how he wants to play. You can probably even pick a handful of players that you would know that Edzo and him would go for 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 the squad. I think the squad can improve, 
But I, I don't think we're still in the middle of a process because are we only ever in a process till we win the don't league? Don't confuse process with rebuild. You don't can, confuse process can, with rebuild. No. What about transition and all these words? No, I transition and all these words. No, <laughs> the end of the day, <laughs> what's this? Agal, Agal, I'll I tell you what it means to me. No, I think the process is finished once you get to a point where at the start of the season, it's like, all right, this team yeah, you're ready, Once you're ready to win process now, it's going to until you cross the line. No, no, no. Until you actually are successful... You're not finished. Yeah, of, of, of course, you've not finished. The point, no, no. The point I'm making is you have the process you're looking at is building a team to then go and then compete. That's where Arsenal will be looking at to be at the end of the season. You're looking I, to add to your squad and you're looking to look at your squad and go, all right, this team is good enough to win the league. Yes, you I have overachieved this season. You. I give I you that credit for that. You. But you have, this, yeah, is where, this is where we dis this is where I'm, uh, I kind of am different to what you're saying. I don't think the process is to lead you to uh, uh to what do you call it? just challenging. I think the process is like steps to success. And once you gain that success, you can say now the process is done and now we need to sustain what we need, what we have going you know forward. Sorry. Then you're implementing a new situation where you're now, you've reached the pinnacle. Until you reach the pinnacle, you can say these are the steps and the Hold process. Hold on, but what's the pinnacle? Because the pinnacle so, so changes. Me, I just want to come in for a second. I get where you're coming from, Miguel, and I get what everyone's saying. I also know what Roy is saying is true, and it's because every, this is the problem. And a, I don't want to plagiarize here. This is a great summary of it from Dexter, who says, footy chats have gone from talking about trophies and eras to flaunting projects and processes is embarrassing. And this is exactly what I, I, I said. I made this clip earlier, and I put it out, and I kind of say it again. I, City are going to buy this summer to improve their team. It's a process. Every summer, the best teams go through a process of maintaining their quality or looking to improve further. Every team is always in a process. However, I still think there are a percentage of Gunas, only, maybe only a small percentage, that want to use the word process as a shield yeah, to block Arteta from being judged on the only thing a manager at Arsenal after three and a half years with three or four hundred million pounds spent should be judged on. And that is, what are you winning for us? Now, not winning a trophy in, a, in, a, in an individual season doesn't equate to get rid of him, sack him. You've got to put context in. But I even look at Man United. If we get new owners and spend well this summer, I am now judging Eric Ten Hag after a year on yeah. what do you yeah. win us and how do you progress us in terms of title races. So that's I don't even think you're not saying that, Egal. But there's almost like this. There's a lot of gooners on the Terry. edge. It's like, oh, we're still in our process and we haven't Terry, quite. No yeah, yeah. But my my question is, is, surely you've got to be judging Arteta now from this season moving forward on what he wins you, Egal, and not just. Yeah, but we haven't completed the process yet, so he, he shouldn't oh, be... Egal, 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 can I just say something quick there? Because you would have heard this. I just agree, at, at I agree point, with you there fully. At, at one point this season, people started to say, to be fair, do you feel that City's performances are because they're going through transition? Yeah? <laughs> and, and straight away, I said, I'm not hearing that word. Transition, yeah, for me, is an excuse, Right. Yes, we have we have gone and bought a striker. You can't be defending two Premier Leagues and say you're in transition. Like, and Terry's spot on. When we were buying David Silva and Yaya Toure, right, and people were saying, oh, that's too much money, and we hadn't won any trophies at that point yet, or we had, but in our history, we hadn't won in this era any trophies yet, I, didn't, I did not hear one single person say, oh, but it's all part of the process. And it, Terry, I'm sorry, but you're spot on with that. It's even now with the, the big club, big club uh, conversation and City fans watching this, stop arguing. If anyone says we're a bigger club than you, stop trying to argue, right? It was never a conversation when I was a kid. It was about the trophies you won, right? All of these little things are excuses to basically, the, the, I'm sorry, the bigger clubs are using to cover their backs. Yeah, And, 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 and that's your, your that's bang exactly on. Right. This, is, this is what it comes down to is because, because yeah. everything's polarised. It's... If you don't win, you should sack. Yeah. If you back a manager that's that hasn't won a trophy, it's like that's terrible standards because everything's so extreme. What's been created by football fans are these shields and excuses yeah. as to why they don't need to be polarized just yet. And there is a balance in the middle of everything. And it was only two or three weeks ago on this show, we were talking about our Arsenal, one of the best teams in the world right now. Suddenly now it's oh, but we haven't finished that process yet, so we shouldn't be judged like everybody else. Not I don't agree with that, and I know you don't agree with that, but the way people uh -huh. word it for me, you should be judging Arteta from this season moving forward purely on the trophies that he's winning you. I think all managers that should be given time if they take over a mess. Ten Hag took over a mess, 
So you give him a little bit of time to build his squad, a few summers, but you want to see progression the whole time. I don't this, think you should just like Eddie Howe has done at Newcastle, you can see the success and the growth there as an example. Taking over a club that's been in the doldrums for years, but you should still see progression year one, year two. You year know what three. the next step is, Terry? Year that goes along, you get a, you, you raise the standards or your expectations are higher, but you're still judging them based on what they yeah. have won. And once you're three, four, five years in, your club spent half a billion pounds, it's either you're winning or you're not winning. That's it. That's it Fair now. Enough. Fans have got to step away from these shields and protecting their managers. And just speak fucking honestly. You don't need to be polarised, but you can be honest. We've got to get back to that as football fans. It's because I love this industry that, that you know, some people before me, and I've been very much involved in helping to build. People it's dying because of polarisation and nonsense. We need to be able to turn around and say, I'm fucking pissed off with my manager today, yeah. but I don't want him sacked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And and it's, you're, and you're, it's, you're it's, it's, you can't... That's what I get from Terry. Igal, you have to remember... This is the problem. Igal, Igal, just quick, because I know you're going to go on a rant now, and I promise you I'll mute my mic after this. We know that Terry backs Arteta. We, what I just heard from Terry is not Terry saying sack Arteta. He's just saying judge him. And I agree that ultimately to sack him now would be mental. You are, you are like, you're improving, right? Next season... If you finish third and don't compete in any trophies, that is a conversation. For me right now, while you're still, you are still in the title race. Let's be clear. Listen, Pep said it today. We have four tough away games. If we start focusing on Madrid, we won't win this league, yeah? We have to focus on Fulham at the weekend. Then after that, we have to focus on um, West Ham. Then we have to focus on Leeds. And all, all Terry's saying there is, and I think Terry agrees with you a lot of the times ago. He's actually saying... Don't sack Arteta, but at the same time, you have to be ready to judge him that he hasn't won you a trophy this season. Uh, and you know, uh, the final bit and, I, was and I that, just and wanted to be, I just wanted to give the other side of yours, Terry. Don't be, you can criticize and you can be upset, even though you fully back the team. But also, there's the other end of the spectrum that pisses me off. Yeah. Going all the way out, saying, get him out, sack him today after we lost to Man City when we're still in the title race. Basically raising the club standards by w getting us up to this level, improving the squad and forgetting the fact that he's helping I, us I, get to this process. I, I, and I understand that, Egal, but we, and I'm, I can't speak for That is the before. word. That is why the word process no, is I, being spoken I, I, about. I understand, yeah, I understand that. But you've also got to respect the people that, who give that opinion that don't think he's ever going to get you to where you think he is. So for, Fair enough. So for someone that doesn't believe in it, there's no amount of there's no amount of convincing, and the fact that for some Arsenal fans, they'll look at it and go, two seasons running, we we're in prime position for top four, then prime position for a title, and we fell away. For some people, that's enough evidence to say, I don't think he'll get us over the line. So I respect all the opinions. It's just what we've got to get away from, and I'm not blaming Arsenal fans for this. All fan bases do it. Dom Hassan me got into a row on Twitter the other day because he was annoyed that I was using the actual and only definition for the word over overachieve, which is to achieve more than what was expected. Oh, and awesome. rival fans can't <laughs> accept the fact that this season, Man United have overachieved based on the... Of, yeah, of they course. Did. It's because they're, they're hating, that's why. They that's don't want to accept that we've and had a good when season. When people are hating or they're angry about reality, yeah. and this is, this is societal now, they argue semantics. As soon as somebody starts to argue semantics, they've lost the argument. No, that isn't how I. That isn't my definition of the word failure. You don't get to redefine words. You know, there's and, a lot of. You know what? There's a lot, there's a lot of problems. Redefine standards. Sorry, mate, sorry, let me just say this. There's a lot of problems on planet Earth right now by the redefining of things that are cast iron and stuck in place. And the definition of words can't be changed. Love what Terry? Feelings. I'm not talking about it online. Um, I'm not doing it, Dak. Don't put me in that position. Uh, Terry is a closet Arsenal fan. No, I'm not. I'm about protecting the principles of football. You know what? I, I defended Fergie the other day vehemently against nonsense that he's not the GOAT in the Premier League based on what Pep's done here or Pep's done there or these records. He might overtake Fergie in future, but he's not right now. The same as I defended Thierry Henry today from nonsense that Haaland's already surpassed him because I care about the principles of football and genuine legends. And I don't care how many Man United fans hate me doing it. You, most of you can't see the bigger picture that in the long term, I'm protecting my club's legends and my club's status more than anybody else. But you need credibility to do that. So I'm not going to flip flop around. Uh,